Located in the heart of Salt Lake City, in Liberty Park, stands the Tracy Aviary. Within the aviary, they take care of birds such as the bald eagle, the golden eagle, and the southern ground hornbill. There are many birds born each year in the aviary. However, most of them are ducks. Normally, the aviary keepers and staff try and stay out of the affairs of mother and father birds as they try to hatch and raise their own young. However, there are times when interdiction is needed. When required, the keepers will take eggs from nesting birds and replace them with dummy eggs. Sometimes it is necessary to incubate eggs artificially in these boxes. These artificial incubators regulate to a temperature that the mother or father bird would keep their eggs at. Once the time for hatching is near, the eggs are put back out into the nest. The little chicks break free of their shells and are raised by their parents. But sometimes the birds are hatched unhealthy and require some special attention from the keepers. This baby bird is red, a baby flamingo. Red is not doing well and needs assistance from the keepers in eating and staying warm. Red requires a lot of attention. She needs to be fed every hour and a half throughout the day and night. However, with Red, no matter how much the keepers helped, she was not strong enough to make it. Elsewhere in the aviary, other baby birds are doing very well. One such bird is Baby, a southern ground hornbill chick. At almost two months old, she has almost grown enough to leave her nesting barrel. In the meantime though, she enjoys a midday snack of crickets. Another chick not too old is Snack Pack. He's a young king vulture who likes to stare at people. Eventually, Snack Pack will grow to be a beautiful king vulture, colored in orange, just like his parents. From saffron finch chicks to little baby ducks, life is new and ongoing at the Tracy Aviary. Hopefully next year will be just as fruitful and we see even more little flamingos hatch. All the birds have a fighting chance as we look forward to seeing them grow into the gorgeous birds they were meant to be.